How's it going my friends? Uh, today is Saturday, January 16th, and I have right here the new Motorola Moto X uh, Pure. Uh, the update for Android 6 started about a week ago, so I'm going to go ahead and install this on the phone, give you guys the information on what's new, and we're going to take a look after the update. Start right now. All right, guys, I'm going to give you some information on some of the things that are supposed to look different after the update. So there is a new app menu that is going to look different when you access your app uh, drawer. Uh, you're going to be able to scroll up and down uh, the apps and also type in uh, the name of an app. Uh, there's also a redesigned clock uh, for your uh, home screen. Uh, you can also uh, add text and the uh, text is going to be in caps letters. There is also a new memory manager. Uh, you're going to be able to see how much memory your apps are using, but you're not going to be able to control the usage. You can also add a text message for your lock screen now. There's also something called battery optimization, a new battery area called optimization that possibly lets you control how apps get access uh, to the battery and data. Uh, the volume controls will change. They will look a little bit different. There is also fingerprint support by the operating system and not being pushed by the manufacturers. There's also something called Instant Google Now. And uh, basically the assistant is more useful. Uh, before it was uh, concentrated on the uh, Google Now area. And now it can be used to look up uh, things wherever you are using something called Now on Tap. Uh, there's also permissions on lockdown. Uh, before, apps were granted at the installation with permission to access uh, the camera, contacts, uh, storage, location, and things like that. Now, apps will ask for your permission and you can revoke them uh, at the press of a switch. And last but not least, uh, to mention something called Dose. Uh, this is a feature to recognize that recognizes when the device is in a rested uh, state uh, to help conserve power. Uh, basically, Google says that it can help to uh, improve the battery two times more in the standby mode. But you're still going to be able to get access to messages, notifications, and alarms. So I'm really excited to see this update. Everything sounds like the phone is going to be way better after the update. All right, guys, uh, we got done here installing Android, Android 6 uh, Marshmallow. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the settings. Just to show you guys here quick, so about phone, and there it is, uh, Android 6.0. So there it is, a uh, Marshmallow. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at and see what else is uh, different. Uh, they talked about uh, the apps menu, it's different. Uh, when accessing the apps here, I don't really see much of a difference right now. Oh, there it is, uh, there it is. So uh, you can move this uh, uh, that up and down here. Uh, with alphabetical order, you can also type right there to search for a particular app. Okay, so another of the uh, differences is the uh, clock here for the uh, home screen. A redesigned clock and also the text is all in uh, caps and uh, letters. So I'm, I'm going to try to bring it close here so you guys can see the letters are all in caps. Uh, also, if we access right here, it looks like this uh, looks a little bit different. If I access the settings here. So let's see what else uh, change. Okay, so another thing that changed here with Android 6 is the uh, new memory manager. So as you can see right here, we have under the settings uh, memory. So when we click right there, this is showing uh, average memory usage. And it tells you right there, performance normal, total memory 2.5 gigabyte, average usage percentage 68%. Free 817 megabytes. It also shows right here memory use by apps. And this is showing right here all the uh, different apps that are using memory and how much uh, you're using. Okay, so another thing that changed here is the uh, message that you can add for your lock screen. So if we go here into uh, settings security, uh, lock screen message. So as you can see now, it lets you uh, customize or personalize a message for the lock screen. So if we tap, tap right there, uh, this is gonna let me here put some message. So let's go ahead and say, uh, um, what's up, Luis? 
click on save and let's go ahead and lock the phone and try to unlock it so as you can see it's showing right there what's up Luis and the time okay so the next thing that is new it's uh, the battery optimization uh, we're here inside of the battery app and if I click right here there is a battery optimization uh, there is also a battery saver that was there before but battery, opti battery optimization it shows you right here uh, the different apps that are not optimized and uh, you can also click on all apps and you can select optimize or not optimize. Uh, basically, if you select optimize, it tells you right there, recommended for better battery life. So this is going to optimize uh, your battery life based on uh, you know, what apps are using the phone or if your phone is like in a sleeping or standby mode, it's gonna optimize the access to all these applications so it to improve the battery life. Okay, so another thing that changed is the volume control. So if we press right here, uh, that's how the volume control looks like. If I press right there, then it shows you uh, the ringtone, uh, the volume, and also the volume for the alarm. Uh, so the next thing is uh, the uh, Google Now OK Googling, uh, Google Now on tap. Uh, I talked about that earlier, and basically what it is, if we press right here, the home button, uh, it tells you right there, uh, wanna help with any screens, uh, turn on now on top. So we're gonna click right here, turn on. And uh, it gives you a welcome message and all that. And basically you can access uh, Google now. It doesn't matter where you are, whatever you're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip here this uh, tutorial. All right, we go back here. And now there it is. What's the weather like? It's 25 degrees and cloudy and bell. All right. Okay, so another thing that it's different now with Android 6, it's uh, the storage and USB. I don't have an SD card here installing the phone, but basically with an SD card, and now with Android 6, you can actually install apps on the SD card. All right, guys, uh, there it is, uh, Android 6 Marshmallow installed on the new Moto X Style Pure Edition. Uh, like I told you guys uh, before, I'm using this uh, with Verizon. I'm gonna go ahead and put my SIM card and activate the phone. Um, so far, I mean, everything looks like, you know, things are gonna be better, uh, more optimized, have uh, better performance and all that. Uh, but I'm gonna use the phone probably for like a week or so before I can put a review and give you guys an update on how Android 6 is working for me. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more. Uh, share the video to help others. This is an amazing phone and see you guys later.